Hi everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of the Young Grown Ups Video Transmission. I'm your host Mark and today we're going to be taking a look at the NECA Toys R Us exclusive Jungle Hunter City Hunter 2 pack. Um, this features both a Jungle Hunter and a City Hunter from Predator 1 and Predator 2. Um, and I got to tell you for the most part I've pretty much ignored the NECA Predator line. They've uh, done some really good stuff. Their sculpts keep getting better and better and better. Um, but for the most part I've, I've pretty much ignored it pretty much because NECA has not done an Arnold Schwarzenegger figure yet. But as we know, with Wave, is it Wave 7 or Wave 8? They've included two Dutch figures, um, of which our Toys R Us hasn't seemed to have gotten theirs yet. And, um, and, and of course, in Wave 8 or 9, whichever the next one is, we're going to get the, the one that everybody's waiting for, the Dutch that's covered in mud and with a spear and whatever. So I know I'm definitely going to be picking up that. I've always wanted a Dutch figure. And because of that, I really wanted a good, classic, you know first film, you know, Predator 1, Jungle Hunter, and, you know, every time I've seen this figure in stores, I've sort of passed on him. Um, either, you know, he's got the mask on, or he's got the mask off, and his, you know, mandibles are closed. This is the first um, Jungle Hunter Predator that I've seen that actually has the mouth open, the mandibles are open, he looks really, really cool, and so this is going to be, like, the definitive Jungle Hunter that's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with my Dutch figure whenever I find them in stores, and, um, and the City Hunter, I, you know, I've always liked Predator 2. I thought it was a good film. Not as, you know, it wasn't my favorite. It wasn't as good as the first one, I thought. But um, I got to tell you, this is the exclusive version that actually has the um, the half mask, like the the, the breather mask, the air mask, um, oxygen mask, whatever it is that he, he, he pops on for a little bit in the film. And I've always thought that was kind of cool. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. I kind of prefer my, my Predators with their helmets off. And uh, this one sort of has like the half on, half off. So that's that's really, really, really cool. Um, so uh, you know, I believe this is the um, the gun, the shoulder cannon, so the the plasma caster. I believe is what they call it. Um, this fits on Jungle Hunter over here, and we've got two exclusive skulls here um, that you know neither here nor there. Uh, so it's kind of loud. And uh, flipping around the back, you can see uh, the rest of the members of the Lost Tribe right there. And there's a little write up. For, uh, for each one of the, the characters. So let's get these, um, let's get these two guys uh, cracked open and uh, take a closer look. Okay, so here we have one of the two skulls that come with the two pack. And um, again, um, you know, not being an avid collector of Predator figures, uh, you know, I, I can't tell you where these fall in the, um, in the collection of skulls uh, or even in the completion of the skull collection, which I'm assuming is what any CA is going for. So um, you can see here it's a pretty cool looking skull. Um, looks to be like a forehead area with a fairly huge underbite, kind of like a bulldog. And um, and you know, we got two big tusks coming down, two sharp ones going up. And I'm not sure if the head's supposed to sit like this because of the the top horns here or if it sits more like that I'm not sure but um pretty cool um I don't know I'll probably end up getting rid of these uh I don't see a reason to collect them or keep them uh but then again I just hang on to them because I ever do um, get rid of this set that I can sell it as a complete set not just you know the figures missing the skulls um it also comes with this little guy too um it's a far more menacing looking skull, maybe because it's got eyes um, or sockets where the eyes would be, um, some ridges along the top of the head, and some spiky little tusks coming around in the front, uh, and nice little bowl, which I'm assuming is for the brain. So uh, pretty cool. Um, I don't think you could do anything with it. It does have a little hole there in the bottom. I'm not sure what that's for, but... Um, you know, again, these are just nice little accessories. I don't know if these were actually in the movie or not. If so, please let me know down in the comments below. I'm just not too terribly familiar with the um, with the skulls. So, yeah, they are what they are. Okay, so taking a closer look at the Jungle Hunter Predator. Um, you know, like I said earlier, I have, you know, I believe... That, for lack of a better term, this is what's known as the, uh, I guess, the Predator 2.0 body. There is some added articulation, um, especially here in um, 
the, the he's got the double jointed knees. Um, his loincloth, I believe, is like a um, a softer plastic. We'll take a look at all this uh, here in a minute. We'll get in a little closer, um, but it's like a softer, more pliable plastic um, all the way around. And so what you get is you get um, a lot more. You can see how loose and how kind of soft and pliable that is. Um, much more added articulation in the lower half. Um, but I got to tell you, this guy just looks incredibly cool. Um, like I've said before, I prefer my Predators to be, you know, have their helmet off. I do think they look really cool with the helmets on, but I just really prefer like full on alien, you know, love that the, the, the double mandibles. I love the detailing on this guy. And again, we're going to zoom in closer here and take a, take a closer look, but he just looks incredible. I am so glad that this is the version of the Jungle Hunter Predator that I actually have in my possession. This guy looks crazy, crazy cool. So why don't we zoom in and take a closer look at some of the finer detail on this guy. Okay, so here we've zoomed in a little bit. We're taking a closer look at the Jungle Hunter Predator. Um, and you can see like some of that just crazy amount of detail uh, inside his face and on his mandibles. And I really hope that this is coming across right here uh, in the the inside of his mandibles you can see in the in the bright pink fleshy part there is some bright red veins and membranes that are sort of painted on the inside and that, that detail is just crazy and like in hand it is ridiculous um now um i have seen the um, you know, past, I've, I've, I've seen before, you know, some of the past jungle hunter predators. And I have to say, you know, this one I think is, is tops when it comes to, um, the, the paint application and the detailing, um, especially in the, you know, the fish netting and, and the, the, the dark paint spots that are on a, a, the, you know, his markings on like the top of his head. I think it just looks fantastic. Um, and I have actually seen now the, um, the, the helmeted jungle hunter that actually comes in wave is a wave seven with, with the Dutch figures. Um, I've seen that one and, um, and the paint just overall from like head to toe is just a little lighter, not nearly as detailed, um, for me. So I have actually passed on, on that set on that particular figure, but I, I love like the strings with all the little, the, the skulls and everything that are on here. It's kind of like this, this guy's like the Daryl Dixon of, uh, of predators, you know, keeping little trophies wrapped around him. Nice detailing on the armor, as you can see right here, that um, the plasma caster is indeed on like on a on a ball joint as well, um, and it does have some give. It's got some back and forth. You can actually remove the whole backpack assembly, as you saw. It comes unassembled, um, unattached in the package. Um, it just has like a little uh, notch right here, and this little part right here has a little notch where it just kind of plugs in right here and snaps in like underneath. And then you can just push it over and let it rest on his shoulder. And it, and it holds in place very, very well. Um, overall, this guy is just fantastic. The amount of detail, the amount of articulation, I'm really digging him. Both, uh, both hands are on a ball joint, um, as well as the head is on a ball joint. You have pin sockets at the shoulder um, that can go in and out, and um, pin sockets at the elbow. So um, you can also um, extend, and you can see I already have it out, you can extend the um, the gauntlet blades, his little arm blades, in and out, and they kind of go in. This as far in as they go, and that's about as far out as they come. So that's a very nice touch. Um, you can see here on the, his wrist, he does have his, um, I guess this would be where the uh, um, his um, self-destruct um, panel is, but it, it doesn't. It looks like it does, but it does not actually open up. Um, very nice detailing on the back. You can see the dreads here. They're all very loose, individual. There's no big clump of dreads like each one's individual. And again, sorry, uh, you know, for not having any of the um, the earlier releases. I don't actually know if um, any of the other ones actually had um, clumps or if they were all individual. So I don't know if that's a new thing or something, um, something new or something that they've always done. So um, it's impressive, none nonetheless. Um, I just can't say enough. This guy is just fantastic. Love the detailing. Um, one of the things, oh, here's the, um, I'll show you right here. Some of the, this is that more, uh, that much softer, much pliable, m much more pliable. Um, uh, he has no booty, no, no alien booty. Um, okay. So one of the things I really like is I, I love this nice little detail where he's been injured and you can see his blood is actually trailing down the side of his foot. Uh, down his ankle. That's a really, really, really nice touch. And as you can see, double jointed 
um, at the knee, but with not actually any extra articulation other than like a ball joint on the ankle, um, then, you know, the double jointed knees, it's good to have. It looks very nice, but, um, but it doesn't really help out a ton. So, um, yeah, this guy looks fantastic. I just really, really dig this figure. I dig the posability and, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad that I've really waited so long to sort of get into the Predator line from NECA because uh, this figure is just absolutely fantastic. And when I get the, uh, the Dutch figures, this is going to be one imposing Predator for him to face off against. Okay, I really hope you guys enjoyed those um, those poses with the uh, the jungle hunter. And as you can see, the added articulation helped get him in, you know, quite a few, you know, fairly decent poses. Um, but you know, the lack of uh, the extra articulation in the ankle really does sort of hamstring the uh, the double jointed knees. But you know, um, it is good to have them. Uh, and as you can see here, um, City Hunter Predator has the double jointed knee as well. Um, and this is clearly a, uh, a battle damaged version. You can see he is leaking quite a bit of bright green glow in the dark alien goo. So uh, he is quite mucked up, um, which is very befitting because he does have the rebreather mask on, which he put on when um, he had been injured. So, um, so there is, there's quite a bit of damage done to this guy. Um, and, and, and overall, like I said before, I really enjoy my predators to be, you know, sort of, um, without their helmets on, but I always thought that that quick little segment where he wore the, the oxygen mask, the rebreather mask, I always thought it was kind of cool. So this is sort of like the best of both worlds. You do get like from the nose up, uh, or from the mouth up, he's sort of helmetless. And then from the mouth down, he does have some, 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 some mask kind of thing going on, which is really, really, really cool. This is a very soft, um, black tubing sort of connecting from um, his backpack or the side um, up to his mask which I will a little bit of word of warning when you are getting this guy out of the pack this is the same sort of thickness and color as um, the um, the strap that has sort of hit the little twist tie that's holding him into the package just make sure you're pulling the right thing so you don't pull that out um, nice nice amount of detail on this guy the the fish netting looks really really good throughout the chest and, and thighs 
looks really good. You have a lot of little soft sort of like little pliable pieces that we'll look at closer when we take a closer look at this guy. Uh, you can see where he's got like um, the the little strap for or the the case for the holster for the the blade the disc blade which he does not come with. Um, and I have seen in other reviews that some people's sets have been coming with the disc blade and um, I have actually reached out to NECA uh, their customer service department and asked to see if they can send one out to me um, I think they are doing that if you get one that didn't have it I think they will send you one out um, you can also see here where they have where he's got um, the net gun uh, and he does have the extendable blades on the gauntlet just like jungle hunter which is really cool so why don't we go ahead and zoom in on this guy and take a closer look at some of the the, the finer detail on this guy Okay, so he is pretty much using the exact same body as the, um, or the basic body um, as the Jungle Hunter. So this is the, uh, I guess for lack of a better term, like we said, the, the Predator 2.0 body. He has the same articulation. He's got the, uh, the pin socket on the shoulder. Go in and out and rotate fully. Uh, he does have uh, the pin socket here on the elbow as well, and it rotates fully. Um, hands are on a ball joint, head is on a ball joint. You are sort of limited, you know, because of the, the dreadlocks and the, the shoulder pad, at least on this side, which to me looks a little high, but um, I haven't gone back to look at the movie to see if it's screen accurate. I'm sure it is. So, you know, no complaints there. And as you can see, that hand is quite loose. My hand was actually off in the package. Um, when I opened him up, um, there was the hand sort of like flopping about in there, and I was kind of disappointed about that, and it's popped off quite a few times. Um... Uh, no um, ab crunch, but you do get waist articulation. Um, he does have the, you know, the lift, get this thing out of the way. You can see he does have like the uh, the softer, um, more pliable padding there uh, as on the back. And look, he does have an alien booty, which is just a little soft piece of rubber, which is kind of funny. It's kind of weird, but hey, it works when standing or in uh, a pretty static pose. You can't really tell. Um, he does have uh, his little alien man purse on the side and another one on this side so quite a bit of like soft good detail on him um, again he does have the double jointed knees which is really good but of course with without extra articulation in the ankle there's not much there going on so we'll see if he's um, as easy to pose as the jungle hunter which I'm sure he will be turning around here on the back very nice detail on the back you can see all the dreads again are all individual, which is really nice. Again, I don't know if this is something that NECA has been doing all along or if this is something new, but I really do dig it. Um, you can see here what I what I remember to be his um, his sort of like medical pack or his health pack. Um, I think that's what that may be, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that's kind of cool. And getting his sort of dreads out of the way for a second. You can see that right here, he does have the shoulder gun, which can rotate fully around. You can see he rotates fully, and it can slide all the way up onto his shoulder so that he can have the shoulder-mounted cannon, which is a really, really nice touch that they allow it to rotate around and then slide down his back for storing, which is really, really cool. Um, let's just leave that out because that's pretty, pretty cool. Now, the other really nice touch about this guy, other than the mask, is that he is battle damaged. So you are getting all the blood splatter, um, which is quite nice. It looks really good. And um, he also has a little bit, let's see if I can hold this out of the way. Um, he also has battle damage here. So his arm is removable. Ah, oh, that hand, you're killing me. I guess he doesn't need it for taking the arm off. But you can see here how you can actually take the forearm off where... Um, it was cut in the film so it does sort of leave because of the peg it does leave a little stump here um, and you know I honestly don't know why NECA didn't choose to um, you know put this put the peg on this side of the hand uh, so that it would plug into a hole here um, it may be because of articulation because of how far in the pin socket has to go into this little part of the arm and to remain screen accurate that may be it. It doesn't seem to me that they couldn't have made that hole in there and just switched these two anyway. I mean, then again, I'm not a toy designer. I don't know for sure, but I think it may have been for articulation purposes. So um, you can you can mess this Predator up pretty well. So um, he's just so, so incredibly cool. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit on the face and uh, show you some great detailing in there because his eyes are just amazing.
okay, I mean, just look at that crazy amount of detail. You can see eye peering out over this side, sort of a squinty eye peering out over this one. I just love that slight little squint that's going on. Like, I'm hurt, I'm not happy about what's going on, and I'm really pissed off. This is just a great amount of detail, and you can see how soft and pliable all these um, dread, the individual dreads are. They just look so nice. Some detail shot of the uh, plasma caster. I always want to say blaster, but it's plasma caster, I believe. And the dreads, there's just so much detail. NECA really pulled out all the stops with these figures. Um, and, you know, I keep saying that, you know, I haven't gotten this line before. And I guess it makes me both disappointed because I may have missed out on some really cool figures, but also really happy that these are the two figures that I got in on. They both look so killer. All right, let's see if how, uh, how many cool poses we can get this guy into. Okay, so we've looked at the skulls, we've looked at both of the figures in uh, closer detail, we've also got both of them in some pretty cool poses. So all in all, you know, I gotta say, for the $29.99 that this pack cost at Toys R Us, and it is a Toys R Us exclusive, um, I have to say, this set is completely worth every penny. Uh, I would say this set is worth the price of a mission, a mission just for this guy alone. He is fantastic. Of all of the Predators that I think I've ever paid attention to or looked at or even seen i think this guy is just absolutely fantastic and like i said um when i get to when i get a chance to pick up the dutch figures especially the final battle mud covered dutch this is going to be the guy that's going to go toe to toe and i can't wait to complete that display these figures are amazing uh I, you know i know this um uh, maybe i may be you know a few months late to the uh late late to the game on these guys but if you can still find them in your toys r us or if your toys r us hasn't got them yet keep your eyes open cuz this is a predator 2 pack that you definitely don't want to miss they're iconic versions of two of the best versions of the predator that we've ever seen so if you're a classic predator 1 and predator 2 fan uh and you don't have these guys before definitely pick this set up so you know as always, we're going to ask if you guys dug the video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Please be able to join in on the conversation over at facebook.com slash ungrownups. And be sure to check out our podcast, which is new every two weeks. You can stream it directly from ungrownups.com, or you can check us out on iTunes. And until next time, peace.